Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. So as I was building this uh, message app, uh, chatting app actually, so I built an idea that how to build the actual architecture of a chatting app using Firebase. So anyway, let's see it over here first. So I send a message from here and the other device automatically receives the messages. Now this chatting app is based on Firebase. As you can see, we are talking between two different users. Now, let me show you the Firebase design, the backend design that how I've done, and most probably you should follow the same one. But of course, there isn't any absolute way of doing that. So based on my experience, since I've been doing programming for the last 10 years, so I thought this is better and faster. Now, okay, here is my Firebase console, and here's this Firestore database. Now inside this, I have actually two collections over here. One is users and the other one is messages. Now the users one actually is straight coming from my um, actual authentication over here because uh, my users, they use uh, Firebase authentication, which means that they use Google Facebook account, which uh, uh, we log into or save into Firebase. So those are the users. Now the, each of the users, they have a document. And for each document, we have uh, sev several fields. Now, as you can see in the field itself, we are having time and email address. So this is a certain user and their device token and their user ID. Now this is, uh, is also very special. This is from, uh, from Firebase backend, which can generate auto user ID, which could also be used as simple token, as well as location, the user's name and profile photo. So these are the users. Now each of the users are different over here. As you can see, they all have different email address, Google account, location and name, things like that, as well as device token, which is also called FCM token. So these are the users. Now, one thing why I'm showing you this users is because this users, they have a connection with our uh, Firebase uh, chatting collection, which is also called a message collection over here. Now, each of the users, as you'll see, they have this ID. Now, this is this ID is unique and generated by Firebase auth automatically on its own. Now, they are unique. Since they are unique, then we can use them later on, keep track of the messages sent by different users and talked by different users. Now, this message is very interesting collection over here. We also have documents. Now, what is this document actually? Now, this document is a chatting record between two users. So for example, as you can see here, I have this guy, Zaminder, and the other guy is Dustogir. So now each of them, well, of course they have logged in using Google or Facebook account in our chatting app. Now, they will have unique ID for each of them. Now, these two people, each time they talk, they will use a certain document. Now, I'm not sure remember which document have been generated for these two users, but there should be one document that has been generated for these two users, and that document is the unique document between those two users, okay? Now, those document, that document will have a certain field. For example, as you can see over here. Um, now, over here, uh, let me show you an example like this guy, Zaminder. And uh, this is the other guy that he was trying to talk. This is uh, like uh, uh, Pug Fact. Okay, so th this guy, all right, and Zaminder they were trying to talk and they have this unique document over here as you can see Zaminder Ahmed and Pug Fact. So each time these two guys, Pug Fact and Zaminder would be trying to talking, then this would be the entry point and keeping the record of their chatting messages and everything. So there wouldn't be a second document generated between this guy and Zaminder over here. This is the only unique one. And uh, this document will have fields, for example, like uh, from avatar. Now this is just a field, you can name it anything, it's who, which, who, who was sending the message, from whom, like this is from Zaminder, and this is a Zaminder ID, as well as last message, 
and to whom like this pug fact this is the guy and as well as his user id which is also like a token so this is the zaminder and his user id and each of them they have their own profile id so this is the basic information between these two people now if they have chatted they'd be all listed over here inside this message collection message list collection so what's happening here so the idea is first i have this message collection and this collection record uh the basic information about two unique users when they first started chatting and it will generate unique document id and if those two users later on keep talking then they will also have another collection which is called a message list and inside the message list they will have the record of their each message each time they have sent this is the chatting record between these two guys as i was showing even earlier like zaminder and dustogir so these two guys so this is the unique id uh over here this one document id as well as the basic information and with that they also have a message list so so far they have talked every messages sent and saved over here inside this sub collection which is called a message list now message list is a node between these two guys talking information and each of the messages are saved under a new document with the field like for example what what time they have talked and each time what sentences or text they have sent and what kind of message was it and certain user id just like this right now this id could be either the zaminder uh this guy or this guy it doesn't matter who sent messages from that guy the id has been sent over here so as you can see each of these text messages they have talked are all saved over here all right okay like as you can see now if i send a new message right now like because they are both of my accounts so we'll see hopefully that there is a new document added under this message list over here okay so uh, let's go ahead and send a message a new message now let's send it and uh, well yes so this is a new one generated you see a new message okay so yeah every time we send a message that would be saved in a new document with a new field but if you want to save more information of course you can further extend more collection which would be a sub collection yeah so now I have done it like this uh, from my experience there is no absolute way of doing that I've been coding for last 10 years so based on experience and from learning I found that on Firebase it doesn't matter you use React Native or Flutter this should help you to save chatting messages and users information uh, in collections and build a relationship between different collections sub collections and documents hopefully you found it useful if you did that don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button as well as if you want to know more about the tutorial check out the links from the description thank you